It's Michael Fisher with Bacchanal. We're at IFA, we're at the Samsung booth again, and we're checking out a variety of accessories for the Note 3. We've managed to corral all these together. We're being the total jerks of the booth and uh, are stealing half of their phones just to show you the variety of color. And this isn't even all of them. We have to give these back, and we're gonna show you more than these right now, but just to show you, this is the flip cover without the window, obviously, in the front. Notice the leather goes all the way around to the back and it leaves a hole for the camera there. And there's that stitching pattern that is you know, evident in all of these Note 3 accessories calling out the Note lineage and the uh, lack of hyperglaze. It opens up like that. You've got a, little, got a little slot there for your credit cards, your driver's license, whatever, a little hole for the earpiece so you can have a conversation. Let's go over and check out the ones with windows built in. And now for something slightly different, the new S-View cover with this giant window. We saw this the other night. We have this special operating mode on the display. If we're quick enough, we can show you that. There that is. Saves a little bit of battery power by only activating that AMOLED element. At least that's uh, Samsung's claim. And we saw this on the Galaxy S4, uh, but this is a much larger window. The window is still present. There is still plastic here, as there is on most uh, accessories of this type. But now we have a lot more surface area to play with. And we have these apps that we can kind of uh, play with here. Now, I think what's happening is we're activating the proximity sensor or something's going on. This is timing out really quickly over here. You can see the music controls there, a shortcut to the camera, or shortcut to the action memo. And if you have the S Pen out, you can take a note right on the cover. And it doesn't seem affected by it. I wonder if pressure sensitivity seems, yep, it seems to work just fine. We can be dainty or we can be fierce. That is very cool to do through the plastic there. And then a quick shortcut to the camera if you want to jump in there. Take a quick shot while the case is on. Very well thought out shortcut there, a little flash toggle. Just stripped down versions of the full functionality available right in the window here. Once again, you can take calls with the earpiece that protrudes through there. Otherwise, very similar to the traditional as cover with the stitching here, Galaxy Note 3. Don't know if you like that color, but if you don't, there are a billion to 11 other choices for you, or six or nine or whatever it is, but that's still quite a lot of choice. Of course, if you have some more diverse tastes or some more fashion-centric ones, M Machino and Nicholas Kirkwood, whose names I don't know how to pronounce well, but I hope that worked out, are fashion designers who've created some custom cases here, custom versions of the S-View cover. There's some moleskin branded stuff up there. That is my first time seeing that, actually. We compared this thing to a moleskin, so it makes a lot of sense that that is there. And of course, the Galaxy Note 10.1 is not left out of the fun in the color department either with these flip cover cases over there. If those options weren't enough for you, Samsung has thought of that and given you a whole lot more. By the way, I was wrong. Uh, the flip wallet is what that is called without the window. This is the S-View cover here. You can see the vast array of colors available here. It doesn't stop there. The Galaxy Note 3 is also available with different back covers. If you're not into a flip cover, you can still customize your device. And by the way, you can make it match your Galaxy Gear if you prefer. But if you're a little rougher on your devices, Samsung has their its own branded uh, protective cover plus here. This kind of ruggedized plastic feel. I'm sure it doesn't add any mil spec, but it does add some peace of mind probably. And of course, the classic black and white available for the S Charger kit with the Qi enabled wireless charging pad. So Galaxy Note 3, I don't think there's any disputing it, probably the most customizable phablet ever released, at least so far. Anton Dinoj is behind the camera. I'm Michael Fisher. We're still here at IFA, so stay tuned for a lot more from Pocket Now.